G'day, g'day. Eagle Eye here. Back with some more Snow Runner. I'm just going to go right back to basics. Even though my last video wasn't really basic enough. So here we are at the opening screen. Um, now I haven't got many hours on the Steam version. I do have 250 odd hours in the Epic Game version. I bought that the day it came out. Um, got the complete package and I paid $99 or whatever it was to get the season one pass and all this stuff. So I've done a fair bit. I haven't done much of the of the latest maps. Um, I never I would have, haven't played hard mode. Not really interested at the moment. Um, have played co-op in the past with Mud Runner uh, and um, what was it called? Not Mud Runner. Um, Spin tires. <laughs> Sorry. Bit of mental block. So, well, we're just going to have a look at the basic game and then we'll go later on. You can learn with me with co op. I've got my mate Derek, whom the first video was for. He will, um, we'll try and do a co op with him. Um, we'll discuss mods and how to load them, but let's get into the game first. Um, settings wise, well, look, my, I usually leave on it at the default settings. Um, all I do with the audio is I turn down the volume so that they don't intrude over my my voiceover. Um, video I think is pretty well basic. This is uh, uh, a 1080 Ti 11 gigabyte card on Windows 10. Um, that a five year old machine, so I think it's a four i seven uh, four seven ninety something like that. Um, 32 gig of 2400 RAM, uh, booting off an SSD, and the game is stored on an M.2 drive um, on the motherboard. So it's older, but it's a sweet machine. Um, everything here is basically the same full screen. Controller, I do have a, uh, a Logitech controller. I'm not a big controller fan, but it is good for using the crane with. So therefore, it is turned on. Um, now there's a scheme down here for the controller schemes. Mine's currently set on D. Um, I have taken a screenshot of this, so I can put it on my other, mon um, my other monitor if I need to. I run three monitors, so I can put things up on the other monitors to have a look at um, as I'm zooming around. Um, so yeah, the steering wheel I have got a steering wheel. It's not plugged in. I've got a G27. Um, at the moment I'm sitting back in my chair, not sitting up in front of my wheel. So, controls are all default controls. Nothing's been changed. HUD, nothing's been changed. Uh, I'll set audio, I'll just I'll tweak these settings so you can hear me. Um, I've turned the driver's hands off, and I've turned off this thing here, which is just, down the bottom of the screen you'll see a number. Um, that's been turned off, as you can see there. The unique game position identifier. Um, at the moment, this is turned off repeated hints. When we go into a new game, that will turn the tutorial back on again. So that's just for this particular um, save. So we've got four saves. Um, so in a minute when we go back, we'll, we'll go there and I'll show you that it's turned on. So what I'm going to do is I've got, I've currently got um, in my load game, uh, this is the brand new one here. It's never been used. So I'm just going to... Um, Restart that one from scratch. So I'm going to go new game, new campaign, over this one, double click. It's all over right, but it's not going to matter because it's the truck's never been driven. So opening screen for Black River, Chevy and GMC. It's both standard vehicles. Okay, so welcome to Michigan. This tells you the basic stuff about what's going to happen. Um, we need to activate and repair the bridge that's collapsed, um, blah, blah, blah. You need to find a watchtower, uh, find a truck, and find the garage. So basically, it's opened up into the tutorial. All right, so let's just hit OK. And straight away, I'm just going to press the M button. And um, give us the map up. We're just going to scroll wheel, scroll wheel out. And this is our basic map. Um, so... 
we're going to close that off and I'm just going to press escape and we're going to go to settings and you're going to see down here that tutorial is on so we're not going to skip it if you skip it you tend to well unless you, look if you know the game and you've played many times before like I have I don't know how many times I've started this game dozens um, you can turn it off because you, you, you know what you need to do but this will just take you through the basic movement of the vehicle how to go to a different map as in um, different area like um, um, Alaska and this kind of stuff all right so we'll go back we'll return to game um, and then once again map so over here we have um, the vehicle that we're currently in we have tasks have buildings and watchtowers so these once they turn white you know that they've been found all right this one here is up here on the right hand side it says find the watchtower which is why this one here it's got this little um, spyglass thing next to it it wants us to go find that watchtower and on the map it's telling us this spyglass here is your, is your next target it's here all right and it's on here so that's our first task is following this watchtower so we're going to take the most basic route that we can so let's scroll out to get the whole map you can use your left mouse button to drag it around all right um it says global map so global map you can see here that we're in um there's four maps in this particular one and then there's alaska we haven't been Oh, Alaska's not unlocked yet because the tutorial is going to send us there. Once we sent, once we've been set there in the tutorial, North Point will be open. All right. Tamir is the same thing. We need to get to through the tutorial to get to these first. Kola Peninsula and Yukon uh, and uh, Wisconsin and Denver and then back to Michigan. All right. So we can't get anywhere yet until we've done the tutorial unless you've turned it off all right so let's press the escape button and press the escape bu button to get again get back in the vehicle okay so basic stuff spin the mouse around you can and zoom in and zoom out with your with your scroll mouse all right you can get inside the vehicle if you want um i can't remember what that is is it the one key oh yeah it's the one key so the one will take you in and out to the third person so w key to start the vehicle the little man looks around you can turn the wheel side to side with the um, uh, a and d key and we can go to all wheel drive by hitting the e key there on the right hand side everything's not on the screen and on the left is the functions functions is the v key you see the v on the left over here all right now i have a cursor on the map you can see the cursor running around it. It's not controlling my view. If I click on on the anywhere in the window, the left mouse button now, it'll control my view. If I click in there again, the mouse comes back. All right, so that just changes the function. Click anywhere in the window, but not on, a, but not on one of these functions. Click anywhere in the window where there's no writing to change from move the mouse around your vehicle to control the mouse. So now I can click on these if I want to go to functions or I can press the V key all right I can stop engine I can start engine I can't recover just yet well I can but I'll come right back here because I don't have a um, a uh, a garage yet all right now uh, what's appeared here these things here are the toe points so you can use your winch so if we put mass on there and click on it and then look around if there's anything we can attach to it'll get a point on it as well the moment there isn't any i don't think we've had that but we'll probably be, yeah we'll, we'll do that one afterwards i don't think we're far enough through the tutorial to cover winching all right so we'll just press the v key again our car started e on the right hand side so handbrake is the space bar sit down here e is the so we'll go to e and we'll hit the space bar and we'll the gearbox down here is in A so 
you can just use oops leave it MA if you want to move it you press the left shift button it'll highlight up that's the clutch then you can use your mouse to move it wherever you want okay we don't have a, a high gear at the moment and we only have one low gear there's another gearbox for this there's I think there's two more gearboxes for this vehicle one's a stone runner gearbox which is on this map um, and that will once we install that that will give us these two gears and a high gear all right so we'll leave it as that uh, handbrake is off so we'll just press the W key and we just gotta we know it's that way somewhere it's not we can't see anything yet but as we drive further through we will see it appear ahead of us as a marker or alternately I can see here this is the high and the lows which we'll get later on these two of the high mile off the low and the high we just press the map for a minute now if we right click over here it'll it'll give us a direction for that now we don't know where that one is yet we're not on this road somewhere if you could you can you can click on here as well left click drag these around add a new point so the color bit is where we can see and this bit here is where we'll have basically give us just this part of the map as we get further through this will change colors is a there's a, a watch tower up here i usually get that first but this is a base game so we'll just go forward there you can see down there oops and break off is my marker just say okay to these you can read them if you like i mean i know them backwards so you can pause the screen if you like um now you can see that there's a pit down there now that spyglass thingy or magnifying glass whatever is down there ahead of us so you just use your keys to turn left and right follow the road you can't get stuck quite easily so just stick to the road for now these are really skinny tires if you do get stuck in the mud a bit you can use your low gear okay we're gonna follow this now we don't have any more markers yet so let's go back to the map and see there this has become highlighted now this is nice and pretty colors so we'll have to follow we need to follow it around here obviously because that's where the road goes this one here is the is our first um job where we have to fix the bridge you can go there but you can't get anywhere so we'll just follow this down and you'll see here to the right As we approach these waypoints, they will vanish. So just down there to the right is the bridge that's broken. All right, we go map now. You can just see the beginning of it there, and there's there's the marker where it's broken. Okay. Oops. I'll we'll just. Oh, what am I doing? Did the key? Oh, wrong keys. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, we'll follow this through. We'll stick on the main road, it's the easiest way to get to the first one. There's a right hand turn, or left hand turn as well, to a track through the mud. And a right hand turn down here, which as you can see, goes to, you can't see it, Lumber Yard, or Lumber Mill. Alright, we do want to go there, but we're not going to go there right now. So we'll keep going ahead. Use your mouse to have a look around. It's extremely good place to look around. Nice graphics. Okay, now this you can go. You can go around to the left and go over this, reading the terrain, different terrain, mud, dirt, water, rocky slides, etc. Um, find out more about the different types of terrain in the codex. The codex is is is, is like a little manual. Okay, so we're gonna go through this. So we're just gonna nudge these out of the way. Don't hit them too hard because they can cause damage. And down the creek, watch down the creek here because there's a tree just here. Bubble, bubble. We'll come up to the garage, just stick between these. We've got the explanation for the, what's going on here. We'll go there for a second. Press the brake and see. Refuel 7 litres. 
and then rake off. Go up this way here. Don't go through the mud. You've got skinny tyres on and it won't turn out very happy. You'll, you'll probably get through it, but it won't be a fun time with these skinny tyres on. But then again, this is what the game's all about. Follow the track up and up to the right there is our is our tower. Uh, pull up into the blue square and look at our watchtower. Now this vehicle here, this Scout 800, is actually on this map. Um, it's a free car we can get. There's also two other trucks on this map that are free and that are yours to keep. So I know where that is, so we'll get it later on. This one here is from Tamir. Um, you get that for free as well. Um, but yeah. Okay. Name break on map. You can see now that that this is marking your way. We will discuss that how to set up waypoints. Um, now up here you'll see that this has changed to first truck find the truck. Now, over on the left here we can see that there's a, there's a GMC. It's not highlighted, which means we can't control it or go to it or whatever we have. These are here but have not been discovered because they're, because they're ghosted. We can get to these by driving to them and they're white so we can interact with those. So here's our Chevy, we zoom in. Here's the fuel station. The truck's just out over here. Lumber mill. And if you notice on the lumber mill over here is a, uh, is a side port trailer. Remember that because there's stuff in there we need. We can use it straight up, all right? So we need to go over here. So we're gonna cut across here and run down the hill, turn left and go up the hill to our first truck. Okay, and then we can discuss some other things. Um, we don't have any tasks yet, so. So here, this left-hand map takes us, we can scroll through all these. So there's an upgrade here, which was discovered when we when we open up that tower and that's over here this upgrade here is for um ray suspension for the gms either uh, uh, the the chevy that we're in now so we need to get that there's also an upgrade just over here for the other truck that's back at the garage we haven't discovered that yet and there's an engine for this truck just uh, uh, for the chevy just over here and then there's uh, for the GMC there's a, a raised suspension just here somewhere um, and there's uh, an engine for one of the trucks, I don't know which one it is now, over here and there's also, or oh, here somewhere there's also this is the stomach gearbox which is oh, in here somewhere and the other free truck which is uh, in here somewhere as well Okay, so to the first mission. Oh no, how here? Objects. So we can scroll through these. Um, this is our, basically, our missions. All right. There'll be more here once we finish the, finish the, um, the tutorial. Okay, you can open that up. So first truck is here. If we click on that, you can see that it's, it's. Well, we're going to get access to the location, which means it's got to give us our first truck. Um, it's going to give us 200 points towards our, our level and it's $650 in our bank. We stop tracking from here. So if by some chance you don't get this up during your, uh, doing your tutorial, you'll need to come turn it on manually. And this one here is tasks. So these are things that, ha that occur during the map. So you won't see any yet, I don't think. No. So we'll discuss those when we get to our first task. And once you've found them, they will appear in the list. Okay, so close, start to rain. Okay, handbrake off, let's go down the hill. You can see the first truck's over there, that's that other icon just there. Watch out going down that you don't get too stuck. Try and stick to the high sides if you can. Don't do it going the wet just yet, unless you've got. Get the tyres on. 
Watch out for the rocks, they'll cause damage to your vehicle. You can see down the left hand side under the fuel tank, there are icons to show you five different damage points. Well, we'll nearly screw it into a, a rollover. If we roll over right now, we have to restart. Or we have to recover back to the back to our start point. Because once we roll over with no rescue truck, uh, then we're knackered. So just up here is our first vehicle, this is the GMC. Very, very basic model. So we just approach it, we'll discover it. When we get to the square, it'll just we'll just hop a bit. With 100 points for our for our um, our bank. So we go to map. I don't think map gives us that. No, it doesn't. Okay, I want you. You you press F4. F4 will give us what's happening so far. So we've got 450 out of 700. We started with 5,000, so we've gained $900 just from discovering things at the moment. We're 4% done. We're on level one. We, there's eight vehicles across these four maps. We found two of them, which is the one we're in and the one we just found. There's 26 watchtowers across all four maps. Um, so Michigan is the map system. So that's got four maps in it. Classic it has four. Dominion has four. Cola has four, I think. Um, you, can get a, an, you can get an overall one by going to all. And that will tell us that there's 17 vehicles that are free. We've got two of them. One was out of 99. 97 upgrades to find. We have none so far. Mission finished 2 out of 510. Vehicles, owned vehicles 12. That's because we have some in our garage from the DLCs. So at the moment we've got two here, so there must be 10 in the garage. Um, so if you have the Season 2 pass, and the Season 1 pass, you should have those 10 trucks sitting there waiting in the garage, including the two from the other day, which are the, the, uh, the two Tatras. Okay, so we can go, we can hit functions with our mouse, or we can hit the V key. <coughs> Stop that engine. If, you, if, you, if you're looking at the other truck, just press change truck, and then click on the icon. Now, we have just lost, we don't have our next, our next target on the right hand corner you see up here the right hand side we don't have our next mission it hasn't come up for some reason I don't know why having to Derek who made the other video for so let's find it and here's where it is so you press the M button and you see up here is a, is a, is a new one as it has a mark on it so press that open up Sir River Township and press all with construction you need to complete this contract do two objectives, to, uh, must be done in order. Let's accept the contract with the space bar. Well, I'll just do it with it. I'll just activate. And that we need metal beams and wooden planks. You can see that they're in two sections and only one's highlighted, which means you must deliver them in order. If these were delivered in any order, then the wooden planks would be up here. This wouldn't be here at all. And they'd both be white. But it doesn't mean you can't take them to the location at the same time. Alright. So you get 350 points and $2,100 to complete this mission. So let's go do this mission. And let me just say this. These wooden planks, that down here sideboard trailer has two wooden planks in it. Alright, so we're going to go up, grab some metal beams, and then we're going to come back down, nab that trailer and take our ride to the... to the objective so let's press activate and now it's up in the right hand corner you can see it up here metal beams one uh, zero or one we have, have been delivered so now just go close yes 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 we know take it to the bridge you can you can um, capture that if you like or pause to read okay so space bar most on the right hand side here nothing we don't have um, any uh, diff locks or any four wheel drive, so we have rear wheel drive. There is a there is an add on for this truck. Oops, for later to give us um, more features. Okay, 
Now we'll swing wide here because this truck has got a shitty loom turning circle. Cut the corner, that's that sign will say city centre, I think, or something. I'm one of those, I'm not sure. Right, up the hill, give it all you've got because it's got to slip. Head up the track towards the town. You can see the arrow point there. That's where we're going. Take one slight detour. Okay, we need to turn up there. Oh, we're just going to go here first. This, just here is another trailer. And you'll see that it's got stuff all over it. Okay, we're going to... We're going to get points for discovering a trailer. Alright. And on there are service parts, bricks, and... I forgot what the other one is. Okay, we're going to come back to that trailer in a while. But we need to convert our truck first. And this is the truck we'll be using to get that trailer with. So now on the map, we can zoom on this trailer here. It's a semi trailer. If you click on it, it now tells us that it's got one of those, three of those, and one of those. So that's uh, bricks. Uh, service parts and uh, I don't remember what they're called now. There is a legend around somewhere which which which, which, which shows you what they are. You can see here on the, on the left that, that that's metal, that symbol, that one's wooden planks. Somebody has made one up, has has made up a a chart. Um, you just search it on the web, and um, you're bound to find it. Um, you can, I use I like to use the uh, the map runner. Site. There's a link in the uh, first Snow Runner video I did. I'll try and remember to put it in the, in the info on this video as well. So I'm going to get our, our silver around here, but first of all, we're going to discover another trailer. Now, down there, that road is blocked with cement bollards. So once we do this mission, uh, once we find our tutorial will be finished, they'll be gone. There's a trailer over here. So we'll just attack that trailer, and get 30 points for it. Once again, it's got bricks and set of spare parts on it, which we can use later on. Okay, let's drive through this. Press the seat. Oh, now on the right-hand side there is a red zone. The red zone is where you can manually load from. So we press C. It's got here cargo or loading platform. So if I press load now, it'll drop a metal beams on that on that red zone. And then we have to load it with a crane. We don't have a crane. So come back to here. It's flashing. We can only get metal beams from here because there's no other choices. Press the load and close. Now we have our our, our beams loaded so we can press the space bar and drive off now we're not going to go straight to that zone we're going to go down via that and and get that wood and that'll save us uh, a crap load of time coming back to the yard and getting with this truck we can go all in one trip so even though that that says metal beams well we've got those but we're going to get the two wooden Thanks as well. So just run your truck back down. Now watch these dirt rows because they can be surprising and you could fall over quite easily because the road could be a lot lower than like the curb inside of it. It's just like a big rut. You can see here how deep that is. If you go up that side there, there, you can fall over really easily. That banging noise is the metal in our truck. I've got to go with the sound effects. So we'll zoom down here and grab bouncy bouncy 
turn down here and grab this trailer. This is the pickup zone. Once again, there's a red zone there for for picking up wood. And over to the right there is a down arrow, which means that's where we drop off from. There. Oh, no, I don't want to have it there yet. There's an upper. There's a, if you had another vehicle, there would be an upper arrow there, but it's it's not showing in our on our delivery yet. So here's a trailer just here. So we're going to back up to that trailer and be careful of this mud because the truck we've got doesn't have a dip on it. Oops, a dip. A, um, a dip lock. So as you come to about here, press the handbrake, go to V, grab a hold, hold of the, the rear point, drag it over with the left mouse button and drop it on that, on that end of the A-frame. Let it go. Press the V key. Tells us how to use the winch. So just use the F button. Once it gets closer to us, we'll discover it. We'll get another 30 points or something for discovering it. Yep, 30 points. Now I'll just handbrake off and I'll drive out of the, out of the mud I'm in. These fences will get knocked over if you need to. And I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to use the F button to pull it forward. I'm going to release the F button oh, with the R. Oh, sorry, I'm going to release it with the R. Press the V. If you're close enough, you can press attach trailer or click on this black one and it will attach. Press the V again to hide the screen. Now we're attached and we have everything we need to complete this mission. Now it's starting to get dark on me. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to do this tutorial in the dark so I'm going to press map key 17.45 is the time down here is the skip time button so let's skip time a couple of times to get to 6 a.m. in the morning 10, uh, 8.30 midnight 6 o'clock in the morning and then we'll close and then we're going to have morning sun I think the sun rises and sets on the, on the, on the south side of the map which is it's a game, who cares? Now there's a down arrow over there. Just use your arrow keys, your wheel or your controller, whatever you want. And so I'm using the right, if I use my controller, so at the moment you can see down here is the V key and the left shift and the space bar. If I touch my controller, and now just changed. So now it's showing me which button, oh, we've used the mouse. And now it's using the, it's showing me the B key, the left mouse button, uh, the left button, and the top of the little bar thingy to control. So it tells you, in most things, which button to press if you're not sure. Otherwise, if you've got a printer, print out the scheme that you've chosen um, or put it up on another monitor take a screenshot with the F12 key and put it up on another monitor now, I've got a screenshot but I haven't put it up because I'm not using the controller This is that track we, we bypassed before. We drove up this road, but we, but we went up that way to the town. And on this, this is the sign we read, which said uh, Lumber Mill. So this is the road we passed. And we stopped and had a look where I turned, hit the wrong key and turned the wrong direction. There's now a yellow dot there. Well you got a square, sorry, not a dot. So and that's a down arrow saying we need to put stuff here. Alright, so we'll pull up in there. I just roll into it or I use 
the handbrake to stop. And then we press C for cargo, and it should bring up the list. You can read that if you like later. So if we click on this, it'll unload and go to a split, a, a, a cut scene. And here's our cut scene for the steel bit. And now you notice it's two part two, and that up here, this has changed to two planks of wood. Now we were smart enough to get them first. All right, so they're here on the back of our truck. So just click on those once, twice. Our second animation. And our first promotion, which we get 354, and some more money. Let's accept. Progression, you can use the F4 to, to, to see where you are. And it says find the garage. Okay, so this is changed I need to find the garage automatically. Whereas this job didn't turn up automatically before, so there's something wrong with the tutorial setup. Keep the trailer, we're going to sell it for money. Right. We now drive over the bridge. We'll drive down, claim our first free truck. Our first free upgrade. Okay, this road here is blocked. You can see it down there is a fallen power line. That's a mission which has is yet to come. Now follow this road down. Changes the dirt. This truck has no diff locks. So if you're careful, sit to the left, you can get through without getting stuck. Road to the right doesn't really go anywhere. And over the tree. I can't get... Yep, we'll make it over, yep. You might have to wedge yourself off. Well, let's get stuck, okay? Let's get... Let's, let's pretend I'm stuck, so hit the V key. You winch from any of these points from here to there. That's a bit close to this one here, so we'll, you actually winch, winch from the middle. So you grab a hold of that, drag it over to the where you want to winch from, press the V key to turn everything off, and then V, V and forward, and you'll let, and then the R key to let go. To the right is a tower down there. A watchtower. We won't get that with this vehicle, it's nowhere near good enough. We won't, we'll get stuck. Okay, we'll go back to Bitumen. Now, on the right down here are some important things you need to, oh, spin those tires. Okay, on the right down here are two more groups of houses. On the left over there you'll see a truck stuck in the field, that's also a job. Now, in this one here, in this house here, we'll slow down for a second, then there you'll see a trailer with four cement blocks on it, we'll need those. And then this one here is the start of a task which is not showing up yet and a fuel tanker. That fuel tanker is for us to use. It's not for, it's not for a mission. On the right is a, is a track somewhere here up to the tower. On the left is the farm. The ground here is quite solid. We don't really have to worry about getting stuck. Oh, here's the track up here. This track here is what is right up to the to the watchtower on the hill. Now there is a whoa, it's been it's been. There is a, a pickup in here. There's a razor suspension for this vehicle that we're in. It's just in there. 
but we're doing the tutorial, so we'll do that afterwards. So there's our, our front gates. Anywhere in here. I'm just gonna drive through here. This first taut liner is for a mission. The second repair module is for you to use or sell. The third one has, you're gonna sell the trailer and um, use the stuff on board. Okay, before we dis dis discover the, the uh, garage, we'll just go to the Seaford Trailer Store. And if you look on this list, this one here with a chain on it, is the one that, that we're currently towing. These haven't got chains on them. So click on that one and go sell. And close and it's gone. So that one there will use the steel on that one for a job. That one there will sell. Won't sell it yet, no, we'll do it later. Over here is our first free truck. Our second free truck, sorry. And the garage. Alright. So if we drive up to it, we'll discover the truck. There's the truck. Fleet star, 100 points. For discovering it. And then here is the first pickup for that. So we drive into it and press C. And you'll see a great one of two, a great two of two. So here we can show chart. This is the engageable all-wheel drive for the Fleetstar 2070, which is this truck right here. So we'll go OK, that'll go away. Handbrake off, I've got to drive this vehicle into here, but except that. This truck is totally knackered. So we, while we're here, Press the V key and just tow it into the square while we're here. And then the R key. Now press the C to oh, release the winch. Press the C to get into the garage. And in here, we can store and um, retain trucks for traveling. All right. So what the tutorial wants us to do now is to retain this truck. Alright, now it's telling us to go to the G key. So here we go to the G key, and it's telling us to go to Alaska. So let's go to Alaska. So we'll go to Alaska, and then the still got access to the location. So we'll go, notice that's unlocked now. So we'll click on Alaska, and see there's the garage. So it's telling us what to do, so we need to go up to the objects, click on the garage, and then hit the hit the enter key. That will now take us to North Point. And that's good. Now we go to our truck storage, and in here you'll find our other trucks as well that we from our 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 um our DLC. So click on this truck, go deploy. back and now from here we can go leave garage and welcome to Alaska blah 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 Paul story that one later on now our tutorial was finished all right I'm pretty sure that if we go to um, our settings oh no it's not it's still there but um, continue so now we can just basically while we're here, have a quick drive. There's a trailer store there. Mostly, I think we'll change IC. There's a trailer here we don't need. So, we're just going to discover it. 30 points. Oops. Press the V key. Once again, hit the attach over here or hit the black. Press V to escape out of it. We're just going to drive it over here to the the trailer store and make some more money. So we press C. Find the one that's got the chain on it and go sell. That's worth three thousand nine hundred. And close. Now we can press V to recover. Press retain. 
and now we can go back to the global map back to Michigan click on Michigan drag down now from here we can go straight to the fleet star so we'll do that click on the fleet star there it is there you can see that it's broken all right this is saying hit the enter key hit the enter key we'll go back to Michigan Black River and straight into that truck we can't drive it anywhere but we just dragged it into the into the uh, entry box so we'll just hit enter uh, sorry C so here you can see it's got no fuel um, everything is broken so if C ultimately we could recover with the V button but we but we dragged it in so let's use the C see how, see how fat the tires are so you can get a single flat tire on the road and this is what this is what they, this is what they look like so you can't drive on them but it becomes very hard to steer uh, that's is why some trucks you'll find carry spares because you can change an individual tire in this game and that's pretty cool okay so we'll press the C button now we've got sixteen thousand and fifty dollars which we've gathered so far we can go to the profile and see that we've still got six uh, four hundred and twenty points to go to get to the next level we found three vehicles okay so let's go to customize uh, and let's upgrade upgrade now if you've got a controller fitted you can now use the controller to move around this vehicle if you don't then you can't move around all right so engine we already have we have this 1900 in there I don't know where this engine is um, it's in one of the Alaska maps uh, the gearbox um, is balanced well, I do I know where the off road one is it's um it's in this set of maps it's hard to get to but we go get it the suspension is I think I was on this map um, tires we only have a choice of three at the moment all right these are all the same so the ratings are just here excellent average poor excellent average poor excellent average poor so we might as well just, just leave, leave them on there as, as they are winch we have a stock winch which is installed and the three other winches as well diff lock it has one spare wheel we can't sell it yet until level 16 snorkel $700 this is a snorkel here we will install that um, all drive now because we had a pickup so at the moment only we will drive but we had that little pickup before um, for the upgrade and that gave us one upgrade <coughs> plus it oh, pardon me so what when you pick up an upgrade it gives us the ability to purchase that for any of the trucks that it's suitable for and it gives us one for free so this is saying here that i've got one here if i had two of them around that would say two x2 all right so click on that and over to the right hit install now you can see this is switched and it's installed if you watch the graphic you can see that it installed on the right here watch you can see it you see it change okay now we've got one here that's just dead money now so click on it and over here you can see sell or press the space bar so space bar sell that little thousand bucks back in our pocket all right so frame add-ons this truck we really need to have first the loading crane so we'll buy a loading crane and you see here the, 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 the details for the truck um it's currently um an a minus truck b plus durability average fuel consumption and a two fully liter tank uh, it's currently got stock suspension on highway tires with switchable all-wheel drive and diff lock and it's compatible with um, uh, what's it called it's compatible with the metal detector no what's it called oh that's the detector that, that's that one there which we can't get you anyway um that one there the model detector that, that's used a whole lot later on 
Anyway, so we've so we've installed the loading. Oh no, we haven't. Loading crane purchase, and we need. I usually use the. Uh, there's a sideboard. I don't want that one. I want the flat one. Right. Where's the flat one? Flat there. There we go. Purchase. Now the thing about this truck is that it's got a tow hook right there. Which means we can tow another trailer with the crane on. Some trucks, see that, that loading crane. Some trucks, only the Russian ones, you cannot have a crane and a flatbed and tow a trailer. You either have the crane and don't tow, or you don't have a crane and you can tow. Which means you need a crane um, sometimes to pick things up and put it on your trailer. So, we can go back and back. So that's our base truck. Um, and this is the end of the, of, of the, of the tutorial section. So, um, and up here we have um, more slots. I very rarely use these slots, but, but you, can, you can click on here and then go to truck storage and for instance we can bring out the bring out the GMC and deploy it and go back and now you see here we've got two trucks in our garage now if I was to change to Alaska these trucks won't be available because they're in my garage here you need to retain them to have them available to be used if you change areas so for instance going to Alaska or go to Russia or to Mia, then you need to have them retained. If you leave them in a garage, they won't be available elsewhere. But here I can customize this. Uh, it tells us we've got uh, the 240, which is actually the best engine for it, already fitted. Um, stock suspension, um, which I think is what's over there in the, just next to the garage. So anyway, what we're gonna do with this one here, um, that's not available yet. Frame add-ons. Um, what's on here right now? Scroll down. Is this one here with a tick? So we're going to uninstall that, and then we're going to we're going to sell it. We're going to install the low saddle, which is free, and the loading crane. There it is. Now we've done this because. On the map over here, we have that trailer that needs a low saddle to pull it. So, and then we're going to retain this one. So we we, we change that truck to what we need. We'll retain it. Uh, slot one is our is our um, fleet star for the time being. We're just going to retain that and. Now, also out on the map is our is our our Chevy. We can click on that and go to it. It's still parked here. We're going to leave that here right now because we're going to use it later on. So we'll go back to map, and this is where I'm going to leave this. I'll hang on up here before we do this. You can see we've added missions and stuff in, and see now we've got these extra ones: uh, Husky forwarding, um, Dyson diesel. Uh, and a towel. Now these are ones, these are the four we've already done as part of the um, tutorial and as we go through these you, you can mark them off. The timber ones are the hardest. Um, uh, lost containers and stuff um, aren't too bad. Now we also have tasks to do. Pinewood Express which is um, a timed bonus type thing. Other tasks um, will appear around the map. We will, you can see there's a full power on there now, um, we will cover them as we go. And the area, one of the area where we've been, but it's not uncovered by, not uncovered by a tower, a watchtower, you can see where we've been here. But anyway, um, we're going to end it from here, and we'll catch up with another video um, of what we should do next. Um, Hopefully that helped. Have a good day. Cheers for now.